in and I asked you before we went sign them documents if it was Now this woman here blames God for why she caught HIV from a man she chose to marry. I tell you, no accountability. She said it's God's fault. God could have stopped her from getting with this guy and God could have stopped their wedding. Ma'am, God has given us the gift of freedom of choice. We have a free will, okay? He's not gonna stop us from making our own choices. Ma'am, you made a bad decision. You ignored the red flags. You got with the no good cheating loser and this is what you got. Let's watch the video, man. Let me know what y'all think. Okay, y'all. Tis I just blacked a lot. I'm pretty sure because I called you a stove because I was asking me slow questions in my comments and it's not making me feel better. So now I'm gonna retell the fucking story right now. Like I said, yo, this started yesterday. Okay? Yesterday, when I was on live with y'all, y'all know he said he was going to the club. I was acting I should lie, like cool, but of course, like, bro, I'm pregnant. I want you to bet I want this stuff to work. I'm finna give birth in nine days, y'all. But I'm like, fuck it, yo, you wanna go to the club? Go to the club. I'm not even, I'm gonna I'm play cool, you know what I'm saying? Bro, go to the club. What up, he calling me, oh, I miss you, I want my family back, da 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 So I'm like, all right, cool. You know, like, I'm gonna play nonchalant, whatever. I low-key, I really was, if you wanna be honest, I ain't had no clothes, I'm thinking you finna do to do when you come home. You didn't do nothing, you got on the couch. I don't know what time you came home, but I know it was around 4 or 5 in the morning, because I... I I kind of like woke up, but I like I was tired of shit. All right, cool. I didn't even say that. I didn't even trip. I didn't know. We actually had a productive day. Like we went, we had my nephew, bro. We was chilling, we was cooling, right? All right, so boom. Bro was like, I'm gonna go to the doctor. My chest hurt. My chest hurting. So I'm like, all right, you know, like he had missing his chest hurting for days now. Like, and I tell him, I've been telling him for almost a week now. Like, bro, your health is your wealth, nigga. Like, go to the doctor. I need you to go make sure you're cool. All right, cool. He go to the doctor today. He got an HIV test. I'm going to just jump right to the bus. I'm going to go. I'm just diving into the store. He got an HIV test, and that's the part of, like, I've been to the doctor, bro. My heart racing out of my control. I know what they do. They do EKGs. They do your metabolic uh tests, everything. They don't test you for no HIV, though. You have to request. I'm like, bro, he requested that. Mind you, my sister, I'm on the phone with her. I'm like, bro, why come I got an HIV test? Like, he had to request that. She making jokes about it. Ha, 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 ha. I'm, I'm, I'm like, no, nah, that's weird. No, baby, I've been, I've been in the hospital. Y'all call me that Miss, Mrs. Hospital. Because y'all know I don't play about my health. Y'all know I don't fuck around with that. So, boom. He doc, he on the phone. He doctor to come in. He, I'm going to call you back. Now, mind you, I'm used to that kind of behavior. Was my sister do that? But she told me why she do Because, you know, that's my sister. Like, she the woman to woman. She don't want me in her business. But for my husband to do that? Red flag. And I told myself, I'm just like, what the fuck, girl? So she goes, she joking about it. I'm like, no, baby, why my husband getting off the phone with me? He got an HIV test. And I'm putting two and two together. But mind you, I'm playing cool because I'm asleep. I'm with my nephew. So I'm, I'm, so I'm just telling me don't think too much of it. So I'm not thinking too much of it, right? All right, cool. Jumping back into the store. He ended up going to sleep. Stop in my motherfucking heart. Once again, I keep telling him my instinct. Some take go through that phone. Now, mind you, I've been refraining from going through that phone because every time I go through my husband's phone, yo, I make myself mad. He's doing something. So it's only to be so long before I touch my husband's phone because I, I don't, I just want, I'm about to give birth for nine days. I don't want to piss me off. I don't want to piss my child off. I go through the phone. Boom, he got a message that's under the deleted file. It's a girl, he talking about some, oh, what's the Addy? I'm, you good? I'm good. Um, don't touch this phone no more. So I called the girl. I bet it was a girl. I ended up calling the number. She, I said, you know, Kamara, she who? Then she, she, I said, it's my husband. He called me. He said, he called you four or five in the morning. She hung up on me. So I'm like, I threw the phone on. I woke up. I threw the phone. I'm like, who is she? Here he go. You know, he about to get the line. He, he, he's scared. He won. He's scared. All right. So, y'all. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Okay. It's just when when the shit start adding up, y'all. When the shit start adding up, y'all. The, oh Jesus. Mm. Anyways, he starts saying, "Oh, I don't know her. Oh, what did she? Oh, he kept saying this. What did she tell you? What did she tell you?"
So I'm like, bro, she didn't, she told me she don't know you. So now he had he trying to build up his life. He go, oh, she don't know me. Uh, and I'm like, no, she don't know you because whatever name you have as a profile, because my we just had the, the tag thing like two days ago. So I'm like, he probably got the girl off the tag. Of course, she don't know your the government name. She probably know you as Unruly Allen. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so boom. Bro, I leave out. I pack my shit, I leave. But then I thought about this, my motherfucking house. I'm coming back home. And I told him, I was like, yo, I'm taking your, your key thing. I'm deactivating that. You take my car, I'm calling my shit and stolen. And you're going to file separation. We're going to go to separation court tomorrow. Like, that's it. So at this point, you know, he got to try to spit out his lie. Oh, she's for the 420. I got it from the um the club security guy. He gave me her number for the 420. Girl sell 420. I'm like, yo, you're bullshit. Bullshit. And you're lying to my, you're dead up. Like, look at me. You're lying to me. A person like me that I showed you so many times. What the power of my instinct can do. So, I me mean, knowing he lying, bro, bro, like, bro, I'm knowing, I'm like, bro, okay, now you're pressing me to go find out more. You're, you're pressing me to find out more. So, I've seen before where people put the numbers in Cash App and then a pop up thing. So, I did that. But then I thought, I'm like, it's a text not number. And I did it, and the number didn't pop up. Something told me to put the fucking number in Google. Y'all, put the fucking number. I want to put proof up here, but I, I, I'm scared the video gonna get taken out. I ended up putting the fucking uh, number in on Google. It says, Fucking Let's Crawl Boston Escort. She's 37 years old. Her booty picture. The town she's in. I said, wow. Bust out crying. You was with a fucking prostitute last night? Four in the morning? And that's why you woke up and chose to run to that fucking ER when I was with my nephew sleep and you didn't want me to come with you? Because you knew you went to hair and go get an HIV testing? And then he gonna tell me all oh, he got it because I've been beating my thing and it was burning. <laughs> oh, I give birth to this baby in nine days is all I could think about, y'all. Nine days. And I feel like, God, you gave me a husband. And I asked you before we went sign them documents if it was meant to be, allow it. But if it wouldn't meet the be, please. You could have messed that day, y'all. We got married on Valentine's Day. God could have destroyed that day. We could have gotten a wreck of anything. God, what was the purpose? Because my last straw, my last day with him has been the worst feeling ever that I could ever imagine right now. This is my husband. Right before I give birth, I had so many miscarriages. We prayed. We we put our hands together asking for this child. And this is how he going to be delivered. I have fought and had faith to not divorce him. Because I wanted my son to be raised in a two-parent household. I want it. I want it. My son to feel loved by us equally. In a home foundation equally. I guess I can have my way. But yeah, y'all. I know what I gotta do next. I'm hurt, but I'm gonna get past it. Bye. <laughs>